This tutorial is for uh, those person who want to learn PowerPoint 2013 to create presentation file. Uh, today I will start from the basics at uh, uh, one by one I will show you how you can work advanced level tasks in PowerPoint 2013. To open the apps, just type PowerPoint or PO that you can find this app here. To create first PowerPoint file, just click on Plank Presentation. And our first slide is created. Uh, if you want to change the background of the slide, then click on Design tab. These are the default design. You can Select uh, from anyone from this list or create your own theme. Here I am using a default theme here. Default, uh, just click on it. Also, our default theme is already selected. You can also uh, modify theme looks by using variants. Okay. After that, go to the home and uh, normally the first slide is used to uh, type the content of your presentation topic and, and release its content with this topic. First of all, I will type my first presentation. And uh, second area is for subtitle. How to how to create presentation file. Okay, our first slide is already created, and in this way I. We'll create other slides to explain my presentation topic. To add new slide, just right click on it and choose new slide. So a new slide is created with default layout. You can change this layout uh, or you use this layout. You can use this layout or change it. Uh, <coughs> I will use this default layout and first of all uh, topics for type a title for your slide and uh, in content area this is title area and this one is content area here uh, you can add any text list Anything that you can do in Word document you can also add here. And there are six icons. This one is for inserting table, for chart, for graphics, for image, that is local image, and online image or video. Uh, I am not using this icon now. I will show you the use of this icon in my next tutorial or coming tutorial. So today I'll show you how you can add list item in your presentation file. First of all, click on the content area and uh, choose the bullet that you want to use. Suppose I am using this bullet, star bullet. Just click it and type your list item 1. Item 2, item 3. Okay, our three uh, list items are created. If you want to create a sub item under any item, suppose I want to create two more items under item 2, then click here and paste tab. Then you can see this bullet is uh, decreases in size to indicate that it is a sub item. So, sub item 1, 
verarbeiten. Two. Okay, our two verarbeiten is created. If you want to change this default bullet, you can also select it and change the bullet shape from here. In this way, you can add list item in the way that you want to do in your presentation. In this way, you can add many more slides uh, here uh, as your requirement. And uh, to change the default layout, you can just right click here and layout. In the layout option, you can see there are many variations to add the layout uh, that match your content. Just use that layout. Uh, suppose I am preparing for the last slide, so I have choose the title only. And you can also move this uh, area. Or rotate this also, you can rotate. Uh, I'm not rotating here. So, suppose this is my la last slide. Last slide. So, I'm typing here. Thank you. Now, save your document. My first presentation. Okay. Our presentation file is ready now. Now, how to show the preview of the presentation file? You can show the preview two ways. If you press F5, F5, then your presentation will be show using full screen, and you have to tap right arrow to go forward and left arrow to go backward. And if you press all tape five, all the five, then this will show your presentation like this. Here you can also use arrow to move from left to right. This way you can create a presentation file by very simple way. And this is the simple tags I have shown here. And you can do many more things in your presentation by using animation transition. This will be shown in my next tutorial one by one. Thank you.